What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. And welcome back to another special Let's Play Game Review Discussion. In this episode, we're going to talk about Mario Kart Double Dash. I got a request to do a review of this game a long while back by a subscriber. Forgive me, I forgot who it was and I didn't get around to it sooner. But here we go. We're going to take a look at this game right now. So first off, let me get the obvious out of the way. Of course, it's a Mario game, so absolutely fantastic multiplayer. Whether you're playing two, three, or four people, three different game modes you could play here. Balloon Battle, Shine Thief, or Bomb on Blast. All of which are just heck of a lot of fun with a group of different people. You can also do Verse Battle or Verse Them in Grand Prix. You can even ride with them, which will actually take me to my next thing that I'm going to show you guys here in just a moment. So let's pick a CC. Unlike all previous and still Mario Kart games, you get to pick two players to ride in your cart. There are, of course, three weight classes being heavy, which is some of these characters here. And this is also all unlockable characters as well. The medium, which are some of these characters, like these six right here. I'll show you a couple of their carts. There's also a host of other carts that you can use. And then of course, the babies, my personal favorite to use. So speaking of, let's pick two of them right now. And one of my personal favorite carts to use, I like to use the train. So as you can see, two characters ride on the carts, different than every other Mario Kart game. It definitely adds a unique element and some strategy because both characters can hold an item. And also speaking of, both characters also have a special unique item that's just to them, such as for Koopa, he can get triple shells. Uh, Toad, I think it's a super mushroom. Peach and Daisy get a shrink mushroom. Bowser throws it like a giant shell. The list goes on and on and on. As you can see right away, drifting is a little bit different in this game. Unlike previous ones where you power slide, this one you kind of try to build up sparks underneath your cart. There we go. Then it gives you a little burst of speed. Oh my goodness, the babies are so light. Jeez, it's kind of takes a second for me to adapt to them again. Ah. Uh, Oh, I should have bumped into that. That thing would have given me a mushroom. Yay. Let's see. If, oh, you, you would take the item. Oh, I waited too long. Oh. Yeah, we traded items. What would be the odds? Ooh, yay. Now let's wait. Wait till he throws his item. And I'm going to wail on him. There we go. Got him. Oh, I wasn't sure if that was an item or not. Oh, and I drifted right into the bomb. That hurts. Oh, I'm just getting hit by everything right at the end, huh? Is that him that th threw the lightning? Perhaps. Could have been. And as you can tell, this being a Mario Kart game, got wonderful bright, cheery graphics. Wow, geez. Man, and this is 100cc? Computer's just relentless. Wow, geez, relentless. Oh well. Good solid music and sound effects. I wouldn't say it's the best in the series, but it definitely fits the overall theme of the game. Each track feels unique and different from its other levels or courses, whatever you wish to call them. Of course, we have Mario Kart Circuit here. I like some of the tweaks and edits that they did to all the different courses, make it feel unique from their previous iterations. Made it feel fresh without making it feel, while well, still having a lot of the original you know, look to it. I 
no real major flaws. If I did have to pick one, I would say that, you know, uh, the drifting in this game, I just, overall, I just don't really feel like it's that, you know, that good in comparison to a lot of the other uh, Mario Kart games, like this whole concept of like, oh, you know, you get the little sparks underneath you, uh, and I hit the Koopa, or the Goomba, excuse me. It's like sometimes it almost feels like, is, is it even worth it to drift? Like, you know, hard to tell. And of course, you still have some of that random Mario Kart, you know, difficulty in the game. You know, what do they call that? The snapback AI, I think as it's referred to. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoop. I hope I don't hit my own shell here. No, no, come on, hit, hit, hit. No, oh, oh well. Wow. One fun fact about this game is this little ability here when you don't have a, oh my goodness, I'm just hitting every item. Ah, speaking of special items, which I spoke of earlier, there was actually one of them. Got Toad's Super Mushroom right there. Definitely brought us back in this race. Go away, Yoshi. I would totally mess up the turn right at the end. Wow, and then the wheels, and then the wheels all came falling off at the end. Wow. Oh well. Anyway, overall fun game, thoroughly enjoyable, well worth playing on the console. No real major flaws to the game, thoroughly enjoyable, good cast of characters. If you want to see more time trials of this, or maybe more Let's Plays, comment below. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Till next time.